and Melissa. I am back at you live with our Tuesday kitten update of Carolina and her babies. Can you believe this little bucket of adorable cuteness? So typically we do these updates from the shelter, but these guys have gotten so big, they're so energetic, and I thought that some of you who have been following since they were born might like to see what a little setup is for kittens that have moms or without a mom. I am having so much fun. This little girl right here is so cute. There's one, two, three, four kittens in the bucket. And for those of you who have been keeping track, they are five weeks old this week. So what we're looking for when we have little tiny kittens is we want them to find their forever homes. So some milestones that we look for is for them to be eight weeks old, which is about two months or two pounds. These guys are all right on track. So they're five weeks old. Um, they've already started eating food on their own. They're still nursing for mom, but if I bring a bowl of wet food, I should have done it earlier. They come right up and they're, you know, trying their- I know, say I'm the best mom. I'm the best mom. Hi, you're live on Facebook again. You are a star. Everyone loves you. They say you're the best mama. You're the best mama. So this is my kitten room setup. It's small room. Um, when they were tinier, I had them in the bathroom, but since they're getting more active, I have them in this bigger space. One thing that I've known, but really learned having mom and babies is little baby kittens learning to use the litter box likes to go potty in the corner. So I have litter boxes set up in the corner of the room because it's just their natural instinct to go in there. I also touched on it last week, but at this age, you don't want to use your typical like tidy cat clumping litter. You really want to use recycled news pellets or pine. Um, this way, if the kitten's playing, eat it. It doesn't clump up in a ball in their bellies. So five weeks, they're now eating on their own and they're actually going potty on their own. This room's pretty clean normally, but you also want to make sure you don't have any like dirty laundry or pillows because their natural instinct is to poop and pee and cover it up. So I did find that if you left a little, you know, pile of clean laundry, they would make it not clean for you. Um, next week when they're six weeks old, they're going to really be eating on their own and I'll probably start getting them out into a different foster home, separating mom from the baby. I think she's about ready for, the, for them to go. She's still very loving of them, but she likes when I come in this room and play with her. I have toys for them. I also wanted to show you something else, is how to weigh these kittens. So as they've been growing, you wanna weigh them every day just to make sure that they're eating. Mom's taking really good care of them, but you wanna make sure that they're not having one kitten that's getting pushed away. So typically I'll just take a bowl I have my little scale here. I'll put it on. I'll do the, is it the tar? I have it on pounds now because they are getting so big, but when they were teeny tiny babies, I had them on grams. And then we say, who wants to get weighed? Who wants to get weighed? You wanna get weighed? You are my boy. This is my boy. He's manx like his mom. Look at that big chunky belly. He's eating his mom's milk and he's also eating some food. And then I have it all zeroed out. I'm gonna set him in here. And he is a whopping one pound, 10 ounces. So when he gets to be two pounds, he'll be able to get spayed and neutered. He's about right on track. So we got a couple of more weeks for these guys. Typically, when they're eight weeks old and they hit that two pound mark, We'll have foster parents bring them back to the shelter. We'll get them spayed and neutered, and then they'll get placed up for adoption the very next day. Um, also, as foster parents, we do keep you up to date on all their vaccines and all of their dewormers. So it was a bonus of me bringing them to the shelter to have these live Facebook videos, but I was also taking that as my opportunity to get them up to date on their vaccines. Mom got vaccinated when she came in, but kittens don't get their first round of vaccines until they're four weeks old. Um, so now they're up to date on their vaccines. They still continue to get booster shots. They're up to date on their dewormers. Um, what else do we want to talk about with these little kittens? <laughs> I do know that some of these guys have potential adopter forms, but if you were interested in adopting them or any kittens, we're right on the brink of kitten season. So go ahead, go online, fill out an application online. 
but these specific guys will not be ready for a couple of weeks. Every, every Tuesday that we do the live update, I always talk about how wonderful of a mom Carolina is. We do have a couple of sets of litters with kittens at the shelter right now. So if you'd like to foster, you can also go online and put in a foster application. For those that don't have moms, um, I can't stress enough how important it is. They do best with mom. They become these happy, healthy, clean, chunky little babies. So especially now with the weather warming up, if you are outside and you walk past a little nest of kittens um, and you see them, I know your instinct says, let me pick them up and bring them into the shelter. They most likely have a mom that's just out hunting for food or maybe getting some you know, time away from them. So kind of rule of thumb is if you're walking by, you see a little nest of kittens huddled together, not making much noise. Just if you see, leave them be is what we say. If it makes you feel more comfortable, you can put um, a little trail of flour around the nest so you can check back in like four or five hours. And if you see footprints going into that nest, that means that they do have a mom that's caring for them and it's absolutely in their best interest to keep them with mom. If you could bring them all in, obviously bring them all in. Um, but mom does all of the work with the babies. So when you're taking in an orphaned neonate kitten like Muffin, some of you might remember that Muffin came to us three weeks ago. Someone found him without a mom. Um, luckily, we had Carolina, but if we didn't have Carolina, we'd need to keep him warm. We'd have to regulate his body temperature. We'd want to weigh him before and after every feeding. We would want to stimulate him to go to the bathroom, make sure that he's eating. So she does a lot of the work for us, and it also results in a healthier, happier kitten. These kittens are all actually about the same age, but as you can see, he's just a little bit developmentally behind. He's super great. He's a wonderful kitten. I love him very much. But these guys have had mom the whole entire time. So it just goes to show you what a good job. We cannot say enough how wonderful of a mom Carolina is. So when she's all done feeding these babies, we're gonna make sure that she's okay for spay. You know, we don't want her to have too much milk in her. So we'll let her recover without them for a little bit. Then we'll get her all spayed and neutered. She'll be available. She does also have a potential adopter in. Look at these beautiful blue eyes. Kittens aren't blue eyed until about six weeks old. So these guys are five weeks old. I seem to think that he's gonna keep those baby blues though. Do you wanna show them Muffin? The twins are in their bucket cleaning themselves together. Look at these twins. Look at these twins. What I had to do was put a little, uh oh, sorry. I had to put nail polish on one of them. Where'd it go? Oh yeah, I have a little red on this one so I can tell who's who. You wanna do one more wait? Let's see how much the next one is. Let's see Muffin, cause he was our, so we got it zeroed out. We put him in the little bowl. You gonna be a brave boy. He's one pound, one ounce. What a good, big, handsome boy. One pound to go, buddy. So that's about it. That's your live Tuesday update with Carolina and her babies. I just wanted you to see, you know, it's pretty simple setup for neonates or neonates with mom. Um, right in this corner before today, I actually had a dog crate with the litter box and the blankets in. So even if you don't have a spare room, even if you just have a bathroom or a little quiet area, just a little pop-up dog crate is fine. It's so much less stressful than the shelter environment and they can get that individualized one-on-one -on -one care that they need. But thank you so much for tuning in. Next week, they're gonna be six weeks old. They're gonna be eating completely on their own. We hope they'll probably be using mom but they are almost ready to be adopted and find their forever homes. And you know what? I'm gonna miss them a lot, but there's always gonna be more that we can save. So if you have room to foster, please get on our website and we would be happy to help you out. And you too can have a bucket of kittens. Thank you, I'll see you next Tuesday. Goodbye, Carolina.